with due respect, receiving a ruling is part of legal representation. If, in case there is any confusion about that, we need to clear the air. To represent a client means speaking for them, receiving rulings. Whatever the clients can do, we are here to do it for them. The, the things that we are supposed to happen today are going to happen on Tuesday. They include receiving a ruling, and of course, mention for it has happened, but it will happen again on that day. For a lawyer on the other side to say that uh, somehow lawyers who are not ready to receive a ruling must receive it. Whether they like it or not, I think he's crossing the legal boundaries. To the humiliating body search that I was subjected to twice, and all members of the legal profession were subjected to. First at the gate, then as we entered the courtroom, another body search. And I'm asking the officers, between the gate and here, and most people have left their um, briefcases at the, at the gate, what would make them subject us to a second body search? Secondly, I have not yet had audience, the right of audience in court, because I'm not yet licensed to practice in Uganda. I'm expecting a special license to be issued by the Law Council. Uh, as you have, it has been indicated, I applied last week. I was informed that they do not process uh, digital applications. So my physical application was brought on Wednesday and it was taken by the law firm of Lukwago and Company. And uh, it has not yet been processed, but I have been pro promised by the chair of the law council, Justice Muliangoja, that we may hear from them as early as tomorrow. We have been able to have audience with our client in the court, within the court presence, and our client was very firm that we ought to apply for adjournment. I should say our clients, not client, so that we can get um, the answer from the law council. You can see for yourself the harassment Step we have foot. to endure, that they cannot wait even for a minute for this conversation to happen. I want to agree with my colleague, the Lord Mayor, that the abduction of Mr. Besige and Mr. Lutale from Kenya breaches the constitution of Kenya, the constitution of Uganda, and the East African Treaty. I have looked at the chat sheet. The offenses are alleged to have been committed in Kenya, Greece, and Switzerland. Unless if Uganda has annexed Kenya, and we do not know, Ugandan authorities have no jurisdiction whatsoever on anything committed on Kenyan soil. That is, if at all any offense was committed. So we will be raising many objections. I am coordinating Pan-African lawyers from Nigeria, from Kenya, from Ghana, from various jurisdictions, including um, Tanzania, who will also be applying to practice. As Pan-African lawyers and uh, politicians, we are taking this matter very seriously. We are going to stand in solidarity and we will file other cases in the East African Community Court, ESCJ, against Kenya and Uganda for their illegal conduct. We will be exploring all legal options and I'm very hopeful that tomorrow I'll be granted a license to practice in Uganda and that the Law Council will be ready to, pro to process other multiple applications. Yeah. Indeed, they are going
discussion with the, the law council. They expedited the process. They are sure that they gave us that tomorrow. We are likely to be through. So it's on that premise that we pray for a short adjournment uh, for that particular purpose so that we can finalize the process. And then probably we can resume tomorrow afternoon, Mr. Chairman. We pray that it's a short adjournment because we really need to have the civil liberties of our clients addressed as early as possible. It's our prayer, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Preferably Wednesday, because then it, today being second, that's yet another week. And uh, it's just a simple matter of you know, processing the PC for the lead cancer and fully constituting our legal team. Yes, we understand you have a business schedule, but this, is, this matter is touches rights and the, uh, possibly the constitution so that can be given priority, Mr. Chairman. Wednesday probably would be convenient to us and the court. It's our prayer, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we always sit Monday and Tuesday. Uh, the third day is always when it is facilitated, but on Thursday we, we don't sit. On Wednesday we don't sit, sorry. And uh, the consequent days are for, of course, for others to organize the fighters and the rest. I think on tens next week is not very far. Can be patient on that. Because the, this week is already full. So on on Tuesday, on Tuesday next week. Why we are coming back here on Tuesday? For us would be happy if our client is discharged. Would we appreciate that? But uh, Mr. Chairman, for the record, we are supposed to come for a ruling. And secondly, Mr. Chairman, uh, for us to have our senior leader here, the senior counsel, proper on record, take charge of the matter. So that, that, that's, what we have, that's what is bringing us here. But there is a pending ruling which must be delivered by this honorable court on matters of law that we raise, the preliminary matters of law. So today has been a washout. We are maintaining formation and ruling. The ruling was not made by the senior counsel there, but she was not before court on that day. So we would expect the, the ruling to be, to be pronounced if it is there, if it is ready. Because she, was not, she, she had not appeared before court. The ruling does not concern her. Uh, I think, Honorable Chairman. Our targets there. Including vital, vital instruments like uh, handsets. Because ordinarily when you go to a court, you must be equipped with all the tools that you need to discharge your duties as counsel. And the phone these days is a computer. And actually for us we are modest enough, we do not carry huge gadgets like laptops, iPads and whatnot. We just wanted to use our phones to be able to make reference to the authorities, the cases, the volumes of laws, you know the, the, the huge volumes of laws of Uganda, which you cannot carry here. If you were to do that, it would be tracker loads. But in modern times, that is a given. You cannot stop lawyers from accessing the premises uh, of this tribunal with the gadgets. We didn't expect that to, ri to arise as an issue. But I don't know why they had to make her, to make her out of that make it a little contentious and they delayed us here just a simple simple matter and also subjecting our senior counsel here to that demeaning denigrating and the embarrassing treatment that they subjected her to
we condemn that in the strongest terms possible. But finally, when we allowed it to access the premises, still you had the were issues. Because in the morning we had to visit the office of the law council. Unfortunately, we didn't find even a single senior officer. We just found their cleaners. It was uh, coming to 9 p.m. Because we wanted to fast. Uh, no, it was coming to 9 a.m., sorry. We wanted to first get clearance. You are aware, uh, Senior Council Martha Karua, who is the team leader here, submitted in her application for a special, for a special practicing certificate. Just last week on 27th, and uh, we had to bring hard copies. And prior to that, soft copies had been forwarded to the Secretary Law Council. And for us, we thought that would be sufficient. They would act on that. We are in a digital age. Unfortunately, they insisted on physical copies, which were delivered on the 27th day of, this of last month. That was Wednesday last week. And uh, it comes as a surprise to us that they were not processed till the weekend. And since we did not hear from them, because they didn't favor us with any response, we gave them a benefit of doubt and said, okay, fine, let's cross-check with them and see if they are outstanding issues they wanted to first handle. So this morning, we made it a point to accompany our senior colleague here to the law council. Unfortunately, nobody was there, as I said. But we managed to talk to the chairperson, Justice Irene Moriagonja on phone. They had a conversation, uh, a telephone conversation with the senior counsel of Martha Karua here. When she, I mean, she assured us that they are working on the, on the, on the application. They are processing the papers that most probably by tomorrow we may hear from them on the decision they will have taken. The papers were thorough the application, accompanied by a communication from the Law Society of Kenya and a copy of our practicing certificate and also an introductory letter from the office of the, the I mean from our law chambers to which she is attached in accordance with the section 18 of the act. So when we appeared here our team was not properly constituted in circumstances where the lead council had no audience before this court. You are aware it was coming up for ruling on preliminary matters of law that we raised the day they were arraigned before court here. So we could not proceed under those circumstances. When we had the, co the, the conference and conferred with the, the accused persons, we agreed that yes, we can have this matter stood over for just one day. We first track the process of securing the temporary certificate for our council here. Unfortunately, the court could not accommodate us. They have adjourned it to the seventh day. That is to the tenth day rather. That is next week. Of course, that in, to us uh, was rather unfair. Uh, because you know our clients have been incarcerated. Initially they were in illegal detention under the military courts here. And as you also know, up to now they have not been properly processed through the immigration. They are still considered to be visitors of Kenya, as we speak today. They are still visitors of Kenya. The immigration of Kenya and Uganda has never cleared them to cross back here. And of course there are issues of rights. But by and large, the environment we have witnessed here is not conducive, is not concomitant with the dictates of rule of law, good governance, and most importantly, dispensation of justice. So as lawyers, we are determined today, we are only 35 who appeared here, and they had to take us through those rigorous processes of accessing the, the chambers here, which was really uncalled for. But next time we appear here, the number is going to be much bigger. And it is on that note that I will request our senior counsel, who is our team leader, to brief you on how we are going to proceed as a legal team. I thank you.
Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un Omugenyi wa fe nga te senior council honorable Martha Kalua ne bamuyisa mu mbere yo je bamuyisizamu na ye twesanze eranga titwinza kugenda mas kubanga certificate ye ebadde tena vayo twateka mu kusaba mu local council empa plan bata na bakute bana maliza zi processinga okusaba twakuteka yo week ewedde nga abiri musanvu olwale erobe twogedde kone judge kusimu tubadde yo mu local council Na inga tali yu netuwa gira na yu simu Na atu kaka santi e Nchaba inzo kumaliriza process eno Certificate ba jimuwe Eremi limo jitandike Na ye Uruwari ilo msangu gonge dua yu paka ange Na kuzomwezi kumi Fituge nda kumaliriza nga Sini ya kanso waba nyonyo dewano Enteka teka za fempamfu Tuge nda kunga nyaba mpulida Honari bumatha karua tumweba za Akule mbe demu timu eno Uruwari ilo bemulabieko Asa tumuwa abatano. Asa, tu, asa tumuwa abatano. Abe Uganda. Kakati kugenda kwe yongira kwa timu yonanga java nyonyo de. Orede ya kontakti nze dabe Ghana. Ya kontakti, I mean Nigeria. Ya kontakti nze dabe, dabe Tanzania. Aba gendo kufi Kenya banji. Aba gendo kufi Zambia. Aba gendo kufi mu platform, mu fraterniteyo. E ya Pan-African lawyers. Nene. Aba gendo kujawano. So, local so yete geke, okubanga e processing certificates nyingi, ngeitandi kila kuya honorable Martha Karua, kubanga timu ya fe, tujisubira okubera very, very solid. So, tuweba za nyo, nesekweba za, sini ya kanso wa fe, honorable Martha Karua, obuvumbo nabu gayo leseza, okumuji samumbele, eno jibamu yisiza munge, okumutu alange, chonzi, labweba, okumuji samumbele, embie nyo. Etiochobole chitibu wache Nukumu kakanya Senior Council Asigala Senior Council Former Minister Nebi Lalabi Yonebi Tibu Wabiali na Kenya Na ye echo Yes? Party leader And Party leader Owa ODM Kenya NAC Kenya NAC Kenya rather Party leader Owa NAC Kenya Nibamu yisa mumbere No jibamu yisi zamu Chitu suwazi zanyo nga Uganda chitu yisi zabu binyo ama jege Uganda gatuwa dechifana nchibi nyo 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 neche tumweba za munti asiga demu vumu tati isibuwa tati isibuwa na haka muna haketondo iramu maliri vunyo njini dala okunga balo ya bona okufakuru kaluru wafiri kaluru wana okuja wano iratu subiranga kumi echigendo okubera wano mukama katonda ya achimanyi ama jera gatuwe tegekere duwe tuko maonga kumi tuko maonga tumaliride so batwete gekere lo kanso tujisaba police ebirala byo naba biteke bali ba processing application za abantu ba fe certificate za abantu ba fe amangu dalanga bo kisoboka ya onalebo matha kaluwa tujisubire ncho kubange wedde then tutandike kuzaba lala abagenda okuyika wano endurundu okuva ku lukalu wa afrika twawaye eja ngena kuzo mwezi 10 twawaye nsonga nyinji onalebo matha za abanyonyode Uganda, te inza kuzi sami sango jiri jizi buwa wa Kenya. Echo chidabibu wa natali roya. Neso ka nyingi nyoze tuwa wa. Nti buoga manti ya mundu baji musanga na yo Kenya. Nti simanyi ebirala ya babi yali Grisi, Athens mu Grisi. Ebirala yali Sweetie Zirandi. Nge nsi zeyo tezamu gula ko, tezaba gula ko misango. Ate ya Uganda, jibata musanga anga ya dena chicho nanti, oba mundu, oba na sas, oba na chi. Jata biranga na rukunga na ate uo, talina au musango guba muganti ya gudi za Uganda. Kakati nebi lalabiyo na, katulinde ruli ingi ya abwe, ngenakuzo mwezi kumi, 
ebina dirira tujja kuba tubibategeza nga ruli nge wedde na ine baza matha kaluwa ne team eno yonanga bumujirabye bavumu nyonyo nyonyo nyo. team ya baroya 